Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, Xiaomi 12s Ultra, Google Pixel 7 Pro, and Motorola Edge 30 Ultra. What these phones have in common is that they all run on Android and have joined us today to see which phone has the best camera of them all. Let the facts speak. The point system we used in the best night camera comparison on YouTube will also be used in this video, so we would like to hear your comments if you like it or not and why. Also, for those curious, we use the Leica authentic mode of the Xiaomi 12s Ultra for this comparison. Starting off with the wide camera, I think it's fair to say that the photo taken by the Google Pixel 7 Pro takes first place in this one with 4 points. Second place is close, but it's balanced out between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which manages the sun better but lacks detail on the subject, and the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, which does the opposite. Next photo, practicing my imitation skills. The Pixel once again has the best detail, but the white balance being a bit too warm will make it tidy with more accurate colors but less detail of the Galaxy for first place. The edge is just too bright and too sharp for me, but it still holds up more than the 12S Ultra in this photo. Number 3. Frederick the Great, former King of Prussia, best represented on the Pixel, with great detail not only on the subject, but the palace in the background. The Galaxy takes second place, with the Edge and 12S Ultra tied for third. Next up, me. A kid and a goat. I like the cooler white balance of the Galaxy, but the detail on the Pixel is undeniable. The edge also looks clear and detailed. All three are tied for first, with the 12S Ultra having that soft DSLR look, but unfortunately being too dark. Quack quack, my favorite ducks are in the middle with Motorola and Xiaomi giving us the best photos. Google as always has great detail, but the warm white balance does give a little duck an orange vibe. Samsung software ignored the duck here and focused on the background, so it gets last place. A small but informative lesson for you guys about photography. Notice how the ground is out of focus on the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, but it slowly shifts into focus the closer you get to the duck. Same goes for the background as the trees are out of focus, so this photo as a whole just looks great thanks to Sony's 1 inch sensor because larger sensors ensure you get a shallower depth of field at the same field of view as you can see on the screen. Up next, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Google's details are great, Samsung has it a bit less, but it's also nice, and I choose Xiaomi for third place over Motorola here with regard to the quality. Damn, I look good in this one. Instagram alert! Samsung and Google once again take the top spot by being tied for first, but Motorola will overtake Xiaomi because my face is too white and the dynamic range isn't up to par. This was another hard one, but the Pixel takes the cake once again with great attention to detail. Check out the trunk of the tree and you'll see what I mean. The Galaxy and the 12S Ultra are tied, as the former has better detail, but the latter has better colors and clarity regarding the leaves. The Edge takes last place in this photo, and our last photo is a funny one. Very close here between the Galaxy and the Pixel, as the Edge does it a bit better than the 12S Ultra because of the slight blur on Xiaomi's flagship. When we add up all the points, it's clear that the Pixel 7 Pro is currently the king of photography at daytime as the Galaxy S22 Ultra is close by, which is really impressive for an older model. The Edge 30 Ultra and the 12S Ultra were in a tight race, but the former will take third place by just one point. What do we learn from these photos, guys? Mainly that camera software is very important for mobile phones. We also learned that if you hit those like and subscribe buttons, the channel will grow faster. You'll see what I mean by software in our special category for this video, which is about using the maximum amount of pixels possible. The Motorola Edge 30 Ultra has a 200 megapixel camera, while the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra joins it with 108 megapixels on its main shooter. The Xiaomi 12s Ultra has a 50 megapixel one, as well as the Google Pixel 7 Pro, but you can't choose this mode on the Pixel, it's just there so the software can use pixel binning to increase the quality and consistency of the 12 megapixel images. The first photo will go the way of Xiaomi, closely followed by Samsung. Motorola comes after them as Google is last place. Second photo saves Motorola as you can see the 200 megapixel mode in action, giving us the most detail. Samsung is second place, Xiaomi is third, and Google is once again fourth. Last photo is me, and I just can't choose a winner here. Let's crop in even more. 
Wow, this is extremely close, but Motorola is a hair ahead of Samsung in this one with the slightest bit of more detail. Xiaomi lost its balance here, so Google takes third. The overall winner of this special category will be Motorola, who will take one extra point with its 200 megapixel photos, but shout out to Samsung and Xiaomi for their efforts. Without slowing down, ultra wide is on the way, and it's crazy how the colors are completely different on each phone, and I personally like both Samsung and Xiaomi's photos here in the first one. Motorola is a bit too bright for my taste, but it's still better than being too dark, so it takes third place above Google. Next photo is a nice scene, and Google is easily my number one for this photo with accurate colors and white balance. Samsung is second with more clarity, and Motorola has a bit more detail than Xiaomi. Third ultra wide photo, cool palace. Google has the cleanest detail and contrast here, as Samsung is very, very close, but the unnecessary contrast in some parts lands it in second place. Motorola and Xiaomi have very different photos, but the similar quality will ensure a tie. Number four, nature. Color accuracy varies, but quality wise, pretty nice photos overall. Last one, orange sweater once again. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is my favorite here, granting it first place. The Edge 30 Pro blew out the windows in the background, so even though the subject still looks good, it will be tied with the Pixel 7 Pro who produced a slightly darker image. Last is the 12S Ultra, as its image is kind of bright and out of focus. In these conditions, the one extra point will go to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra for having a consistent ultra-wide camera. In future comparisons, we will have way more ultra-wide photos to compare for more consistent results, so stay with us. Video is our next category, and the iPhone is not here, which is good news for Xiaomi, as our flagship takes some of the best videos out there. Google messed up here with the purple sky, it's something the developers have to look at. 4 points to Xiaomi, 3 each to Motorola and Samsung, and Google takes last place for this video. In the next one, the first three look really identical, but there's a lot of noise on Google's side, and there really has to be a fix for this soon. Motorola and Xiaomi are tied for first, Samsung comes after with slight blur issues, and Google is last once again. The Edge doesn't have the 4K on their ultra-wide camera, which is in my opinion, a very bad design choice. The 12S Ultra gets another 4 points here, with great colors and adequate sharpness, as the Galaxy is a close second, with Google coming in third due to at least having 4K. Last up is a comparison of 8K footage. While Samsung stabilization and quality is great, it's extremely cropped in. They will be tied with Xiaomi, which has lesser stabilization, but a wider field of view, as Motorola comes in third and Google fourth with no 8K. Looking at the end game, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is undisputed in videos, and I'm really, really impressed with the quality. Google for sure needs some time to adjust some settings, as this just isn't cutting it right now. Maybe this can change with portrait photos though. Samsung is my favorite in the first one, with Motorola coming in at a close second. Google takes third, and Xiaomi fourth. Next photo. Google is on the scoreboard this time with first place. Motorola will take second, with Samsung and Xiaomi being tied, as Samsung made errors around my hair, but Xiaomi also got my skin color all wrong. Number 3 will have Samsung bouncing back with a near perfect photo. Google and Motorola are tied for second as one is too warm while the other is too cold, and Xiaomi is just not that good at portrait photography software. Fourth photo is Samsung all the way, but Motorola actually came in clutch. Google's still better than Xiaomi though, as the fifth photo is once again throwing its hands up for Samsung, but also for Google, well done to both. Motorola and Xiaomi will come in second and third place respectively, as our last portrait photo is looking good, but the best on the Galaxy. The Pixel once again put on a good show, as the edge is too bright this time around and the 12S Ultra's photo doesn't look that good. In the conclusion for the portrait photography part, it's actually no surprise that the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra will take first place. It's always given us good performance for portrait mode, and this time, it has continued. Now it's time for the telephoto cameras to battle it out. Straight off the bat, Motorola is already falling off at 5 times. 10 times gives us that signature Samsung quality, but Xiaomi and Google aren't letting go of its legs. Maximum of the Edge 30 Ultra is 16 times, as the Pixel 7 Pro software is going to overtake the Xiaomi 12S Ultra at 20 times. Take a good look at the 30 times sweet spot zoom of the S22 Ultra, and notice how even then, the pixel is just so close. 
50 times and the cropped in 100 times zoom of Google lets us know that Samsung is the winner here, but we have to give props to Google for their super res zoom technology, which is what gives us this high quality digital zoom. Google's software advancements also apply to stabilization, as they are one of the companies that pays a lot of attention to this area. However, it seems that Xiaomi is also trying to make a name for itself in this category as their footage is even more stable than Google's. With the active modes turned on, the 12S Ultra is my first place choice with the Pixel taking second place. The Galaxy was a bit wobbly compared to them, but not as much as the Edge which doesn't have an active stabilization mode, landing it in fourth place. As for the front cameras, the Galaxy sticks out in the first photo, with the Pixel a close second because my skin looks too textured and creamy. The Edge and the 12S Ultra are tied with mediocre performances. The same can be said for the second photo, but Xiaomi will be last place in this one, with worse quality than Motorola. A few portrait selfies should keep you entertained as the first photo goes the way of Samsung. Motorola and Google have edge detection issues around my hair, while Xiaomi completely blows out the background. Second one, Samsung and Motorola will take first. Xiaomi is too white and Google has problems with my long hair. Last one is pretty similar all around, so we can go for a four-way tie on this photo. How about shooting a TikTok with the selfie cams? I'd normally pick Samsung here because of the quality, but there's some noise in the footage that bothers me, so it will be tied with Google. Motorola and Xiaomi aren't too different, so I call this a tie between them, ensuring the S22 Ultra wins the front camera category, even though it's an older phone than the competition. Impressive. Well, since I use this word, impressive, let me show you the slow motion capabilities of Xiaomi flagships. 480 frames on 1080p is cool enough, but when a phone gives you the opportunity to crank it all the way up to 3840 frames, that is definitely something else. Easy win for them here, and second place to Motorola, because having native 960 frames is something that the Galaxy doesn't have, and this is visible in the quality difference between the two, and I'm sure that you have the same opinion that I do. Google will take last place here, as even though the video quality is good enough, the options to choose higher frames aren't there. They do have a macro mode which we missed out on the Pixel 6 Pro, and it's really good. You can get a bit closer with the S22 Ultra, but when you take color accuracy and clarity into consideration, the balance does shift a little towards the 7 Pro. Take the last photo as an example. There is more detail and realistic colors on the Pixel, but you can get slightly closer on the Galaxy. Either way, it's super close, no pun intended, so the decision is both being tied for first, with the Edge 30 Ultra coming after them, as the 12S Ultra's macro mode is pretty subpar. Nearing the end of the comparison, it's a relief to see none of the devices having any kind of issues with autofocus, as this can cause a fair bit of problems while shooting videos. They all perform well, and even though the speed and snappiness vary from device to device, this will in no way affect the general performance and usage scenarios of these phones. One, two, three, four, and we are back with more. You guys got it right. It's a four camera comparison between the Google Pixel 7 Pro and this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's been in plenty of our videos as we're doing another audio test. And over here, we have the brand new Motorola Edge 30 Ultra this time. If you remember, we already had the Pro in one of our previous videos and the Ultra version is back with us. And lastly, it's the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the winner of our recent night camera comparison test. Audio is problematic when we have to make a choice because everyone has different needs. In our opinion, all of them are good in different areas, except the Motorola Edge 30 Pro, which has a lot of background noise. If you want noise cancelling, go for the Pixel. Xiaomi has the least noise cancelling, but great clarity, and the Galaxy is somewhat in between them. Drop a comment with your opinions, and buckle up for some shots in the dark. Different circumstances give interesting results, as the 12S Ultra loses detail around the pebbles. The rest look fairly fine. Second photo, we think that they all look okay, just with different white balance values. Number three was taken in a completely dark room, and that's why there's no surprise that the Xiaomi 12S Ultra gets four points thanks to that gigantic sensor capturing all the light that it can. Google comes in second, Samsung is third, and Motorola is fourth. 
This one was all around equal except the large amount of noise on the top of the frame of the Galaxy, so it's a step behind the others and unfortunately has the same noise problem in this photo. The edge and the pixel are tied here with the most clarity as Xiaomi loses some detail on the darker parts of the frame. With ultra wide, we're bound to see some problems. Couldn't pick a winner here as they're either too sharp or blurry to beat the competition. Second ultra wide photo is a battle between Samsung and Motorola, but the former looks more natural in my opinion. Xiaomi and Google will be tied in the battle of the blurry images. Last one is a scenery photo, and besides the white balance, none of them stick out. One night video coming right up. At first glance, Xiaomi was definitely my favorite here with the least noise and also nice colors. However, a closer look put Google in the spotlight as the detail and clarity surpasses the others, tying it with Xiaomi. Samsung and Motorola are a step behind. Another night video will be an ultra wide and funnily enough, the Edge 30 Pro with its 1080p footage is the clearest. Xiaomi is close with Google overtaking Samsung in third place due to the clarity of the subject. Conclusion time! Best photography camera goes the way of the Google Pixel 7 Pro. But for high resolution photos, the Motorola Edge 30 Pro was our winner with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra a very close second. Ultra wide was a big battle between Samsung and Google, but the Xiaomi 12S Ultra hands down is one of the best video phones out there. Portrait was easy peasy for Samsung, and they also took zoom, but not as easily. Stabilization was a surprise for me as Xiaomi slightly overtook Google, as front camera also goes the way of Samsung with their natural look. Slow motion is Xiaomi's middle name, as macro was a close tie between Google and Samsung. Autofocus was all around equal, as well as audio with just Motorola having a slightly worse mic. Lastly, Night was extremely close and overall, surprisingly, ended in a three-way tie between Xiaomi, Motorola and Google. We would very much appreciate if you could tell us your opinions about the results in the comments, as well as liking and subscribing for the big push against the algorithm. Until the next video friends, take care and see you soon.